Sometimes they're called pill bugs or so bugs, but isopods are not insects. They're related to land crabs and lobsters, and they look like, to me, little miniature armadillos. The name isopod actually means the legs are alike, and isopods have seven pairs of legs to seven sections on their thorax. They have an abdomen located below the thorax that also has uropods that, to me, make them look a little bit like miniature aliens. The uropods are conically shaped and help with locomotion. You can find isopods just about anywhere under rocks and barks and leaves and even in dirt where there's plenty of shade and lots of moisture. They need that moisture because they breathe through modified gills. As isopods grow, they have to shed their exoskeleton, and that takes a little bit of time to accomplish. So they usually find a quiet place where they can mostly be alone. Then the outer shell is shed in two pieces. One piece comes off at a time. Collecting these little guys really can be a lot of fun. I started actually several months ago with about eight to ten adults and you can see I've expanded out now to three separate very large containers. The juvenile hatchlings appear very pale to almost white and are teeny tiny compared to the adults. Of course they scamper a lot faster too. You can see little burls very clearly in, in the first container that have been dug by the isopods and when they're exposed to light you can see a lot of these little guys scampering down into their little tunnels with their little rear ends sticking out. Here you can see very clearly the edge of uh, some of the segments on the isopod, how very defined they are. It really is very, very pretty. And then as you move up a little bit, and this is in one of my more moist containers, the face on this little guy to me is exquisite. Here at first he's sort of upside down, but he's going to flip in a minute. And his face actually looks, I don't know, to me kind of precious. It just looks cute. Of course, these were taken on a very hot, humid day. So the guys were a little slower to respond. A few days later I moved into one of the drier containers and these guys moved a whole lot faster. Uh, it wasn't nearly as hot and there were times when their scuttling was so fast that they're nothing but a blur. The colors and patterns on different isopods makes them very interesting because they're not all gray or silver. As you can see here, they, they're they very pale, this uh, particular one, with a little motley um, spots on them. I could have named him Spot, I suppose. And here we can see a lot of running back and forth. That's what I mean. They're just a blur. That's how fast these guys can get. One of these little guys reminds me of, of an ostrich, really. He gets his face underneath a piece of bark and figures he's hiding. But he does give us a really good view of his uropods. Those little things still look alien to me. If you're going to raise isopods, remember to keep them moist, not drowned, but moist. Feed them cornmeal, flaxseed flour mixture, and remember they're greens. They do like lettuce. Not live plants, because they'll eat the roots. But have fun.